Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap with me, Timmy PTG. And, uh, why is it not... There we go. Okay, that was scary. Um, so yeah, so welcome back, and I'm sorry I didn't make any videos yesterday, but, like, everyone was home, and, uh, I got pretty lazy. I mean, like, between the hours of 2 and 4, I kind of just went back to sleep because I was really tired, so... Yeah, sorry about that. Um, okay, it is recording me, and I'm just walking into the walls like an idiot. But whatever. Um, <clears throat> so in this video, we're going to try to get to um, the shoes. Wait, did I show those off? Is he here? No, he's not. Okay, I'm dumb. I have to show this off. Um, I picked up 220 rupees by going to the infinite rupee thing. Uh, the infinite 20 rupee chamber place that I showed you in that other video in Mount Crinnell, and, uh, I think after you talk to, and after you get the second thing from Swiftblade, then you can talk to the postman, and this guy will get his, uh, brilliant idea to help you out with whatever you need to do. He's like, oh, I've got it, I'll ask Swiftblade to help me with my newsletter every week, or whatever, and so, uh, that, that's how that happens. Um, <clears throat> off screen, I got the. Get out of my way, mailman. Off screen, I got. Oh my god. I got the boomerang, and I also got rid of my mysterious shells. And so we're gonna walk in here. And. No, never mind. I'm dumb. What are, what are we doing? No, okay, no, okay. I, I got it. Haha. <laughs> Two minutes in, and now I've only just realized what I have to do. Okay, so I have to come back out here. And I guess just walking around for the sake of walking around now. Oh. Okay, so I'm. I know what I have to do. And so in the last video, we got to see that cutscene where Vadi took over the, uh, the king. Ah, oh, get out of my face! I'm gonna die soon. And, um, <clears throat> and so, yeah, now we're just following up. We have to, uh, we have to, we need to persevere and get the elements. So that's what we're gonna do. So run in through there and just walk right out, because if you, uh, if you stay in, you will sink and you'll lose, like, I think it's half of a life. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Nothing too serious, but for me, that's, that's kind of a challenge. Get it? Three heart challenge, and it's a challenge, and I'm done. Whatever. Um. So we're just gonna come back out through here, because I feel like it. I don't think there's anything in here. I looked at it off screen, but I can't remember for the life of me what's in there. Um. I think it's just a fairy fountain. It's nothing too serious. Yeah, it's just a fairy fountain. Um. <clears throat> not even a fairy fountain, just fairy. Uh. Haven Sanctuary. Um, so what we're gonna do is come back through here. This guy's gonna fall asleep. Look at this. He's just like what? The bonk. Face desk. And watch this. This is really trippy. The shoes are gone. What happened to those shoes? They are gone now. It's it's amazing. So we're just gonna talk to these guys. Shut up, Rems Pikmin people. Basically, this guy like makes shoes, but not really, because the Pikmin do, and I cannot climb down for some reason, there we go, um, and, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so in unrelated news, I, uh, I've been, I've been getting a lot into challenges lately, namely in, uh, Pokemon, but, I mean, like, on this too, uh, the other day I started a walk on a playthrough of Pokemon Emerald with only using Mudkip and my, um, thanks for making me waste a bomb. Um, or two bombs now, but whatever. Uh, <clears throat> only Mudkip and HM Slaves. And so right now it's level, it's a level 54 Swampert with, um, a, whatchamacallit, What's it called? Ninkata for Flash and Cut. And Makuhita for... 
for Surf, um, Strength, and Rock Smash. And you might be asking why I haven't put Surf on um, Swampert, and that, that's the simple reason of it's a physical sweeper, not a special sweeper. But the way I started this was um, a couple of months ago I used my copy of Heart Gold, and um, and I used only Totodile, Centret, Pidgey, and uh, Nidoran for strength. And um, and so I have those, and so my, my for alligator is level 92, and I've got 15 badges, because I've fought literally every trainer in the game. I just haven't fought Red, and I haven't fought the Pokemon League 2, and I haven't fought uh, Blue or Green, I'm not really sure what his name is. Uh, so yeah. So we're just going to come over here. You can ignore that uh, top, that tree stump over in the top, because it is completely useless at this point in the game. Uh, it's used later for... Actually, I don't even know. I don't think it's used ever. But, whatever. It's there to taunt you. There's nothing over there as of now. Can you not roll in the trees? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Anyways, uh, the reason I have 220 rupees is because you're going to need 60 of them for this part in the game. Uh, specifically right here, because you have to buy this wake-up shroom, and it costs uh, 60 rupees. And so you're like, okay, whatever. Um, I think if you... Wait, no, yeah. If you talk to the mayor of town... Um, before coming out here, then you can, uh, pick up the Rupee expansion, the wallet expansion. Just push that over. I'm also gonna start this side quest. Oh, wait, no, wait, can I? Um, well, if I can't, then I can at least push that boulder aside, and then I'll start. No, yeah, okay, I need to, uh, to push this over, and then talk to these people down here. I don't think I've ever been here, but whatever. Shut up. I always forget not to, uh, to use their uh, thing. Haha, -ha, I have just the right piece. There are only, um, eight kinstone pieces in the game. Well, other than the golden ones, and I think there's only, like, five of those. So, uh, or not five, there's, um, three, three, and then another one. So there's 15 different kinstones in the game, but, uh, there's three red, three green, two blue, and then seven golden ones. And the golden ones are used specifically for, si and for specific parts of the game, so don't worry about it yet. And, uh... Yeah, so you don't have to, like, find them or be like, Oh, no, well, Just don't worry about it. What's in here? Ooh, a fairy fountain. This is awesome. Spectacular. What What's going on in this one? I think this is a rupee upgrade, maybe? Oh, well, let's find out. I honestly forgot about this. Uh, many rupees. All right, I'll throw in all my rupees. Let's do this. Yeah, whatever. I already bought the mushroom. I don't think I need anything. Oh, she doesn't need any rupees. Whatever. I guess my rupees aren't good enough for this lady. But I think I can hold up to 500 now? I don't know. Uh, I think it goes... 100, 300, 600, and then 999. But I could be wrong. In fact, I'm probably wrong, but I don't know. Whatever. So, this guy's gone. And that's good for us because he's like, well, blah, 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 blah. this wall is rock solid. Hey, you want to fuse kinstones? Oh, this is just perfect for me. I don't know where I'm getting all this good luck with kinstones, but it's like, eh, whatever. Anyways, this is the fourth, um, the fourth merchant in town. Oh, I, I meant to talk about Beetle, who is now in town, if you didn't notice already. Um, Beetle, I have no idea what starts up his cut and his uh his participation in town for lack of a better term because I can't think 
properly the other day. But, um, but, like, because he wasn't there before I started the, and after, before I started the last video, and then I did all the Mysterious Shells things, and he was just suddenly there in this video, so I was like, okay, I guess that's cool. But, um, I know that after you, after the first dungeon, you are supposed to get rid of all that dust with the, uh, with the, whatchamacallit, dust jar, and then just pull that out. And so, as I was like, hey, you can wake this guy up, and I'm like, okay, I know that already. So, oh, I guess we just talked to him. It puts it in your, uh, little area thing. He's like, oh, that's, uh, that's a terrifyingly bad smell. I, I was sleeping. <gasps> what? There's, I need food. Someone, I've got the munchies after that mushroom. I'm gonna make these, like, just appear, and then smash them with a hammer a few times. And there we go. Here, I have some boots. For waking me up. I guess, I don't, I don't know, he's got, like, some weird narcolepsy where only mushrooms can wake him up. But, now that we've got these boots, there's something we can do with these boots. Thankfully, get a new skill. So let's talk to Swiftblade again. And then I think, after that, that should be the end of the video. Um, Pegasus Boots, I'm ready to train you again. Yeah, let's train here, why not? You will now learn a new technique. Run like crazy! Alright, whatever. And so, let's do this like Brutus, come on. I've been watching a lot of, uh, Sir Ron Lionheart's videos, because, I don't know, I, lo I love that guy. He's one of the greatest LPers, in my opinion, because he's just enthusi so enthusiastic all the time. But whatever, we just, uh... I don't know why I said that, but, <laughs> yeah, we got the dash attack. One of the, uh, seven, no, six things that we can learn, because there's two different types of beams, and we can't learn either of them because of not having enough hearts, like I've said many times in past videos. Hey, it's Malin's over here now. She's like, hey guys, I'm gonna sell milk out of a thing. The only thing I don't like about the dash attack is, uh, if you hit people with it, you'll just stop. But if you hit monsters with it, you'll just keep dashing. Which is nice. I like that. Wee, wee, Out of my way. I'm crazy. And so, yeah. And you can also just stop yourself. Nice. Uh, just by flipping around with the... Uh, D-pad. Can't talk today. I don't know why. I'm just completely out of it. Yesterday... I was, um, I was pretty lightheaded for about 90% of the day. Oh, also, with this grass, you will find a lot of green kinstones. Uh, there's, and it's like the same grass that's in the, uh, area just outside of this. And I don't know where I'm going. So, yeah. Do I go over here? Where do I go? Do I go in here? What is in here? What's in here? What are you... What are you doing here, Deku Scrub? Let's find out. Arrows, I don't have a bow. Well, that just hella spoiled it. Thank you, Deku Scrub. You don't have a bow. Maybe that's what you need. Shut up, you. Um, just keep your Pegasus boots on most of the time in here, because you're going to need them. Also, if you find yourself sinking, uh, just just use the boots, like, wah, wah, wah. oh wait, I'm above the swamp again. Um, so yeah, that's a cool trick you can use. And we're coming up on 14 minutes now, so I'm gonna stop the video. This has been Timmy PTG, thank you for watching.